So, just curious, but, um, what's your running theory? Well, you played with the radio, a triangle came out, the triangle talked, hung out a little, then drowned us, but not, and now we're here. Yep. That. Those were the events. Good talk. Huh? What is that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Clarissa? Damn it, is, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something? Well, she's around here somewhere. I was worried, honestly, that she, um, might have left. She sounded sort of scared. Like in dire straits, actual trouble right now scared? Look, I think we can all be included in whatever definition of trouble there is, so... Ren said something about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? But, and hear me out, what if it isn't? What if they just said it was decommissioned, and there's, like, still people, like, in there, like, doing stuff? I think if they had alien autopsies or whatever you're suggesting is happening in there, we'd have been taken out by snipers about 50 paces back. Maybe. But listen, like, what if, just, what if all the stuff that's, like, happened to us, the stuff we've been seeing, is, like, the direct result of some government secret project? Like, what if there's some, um, experimental, uh, pro- No way, Jonas, come on. Conspiracies are comforting because they explain what can't be explained. Well, there is an explanation. I mean, no matter how ridiculous, there is one. And it's not that. That light. For some reason, it reminds me of the cave. Dinner time. It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? Alright, I know the answer is no, but we kind of do have to find Clarissa, so let's just ignore the question and thank the weird radio men for the door. No, 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 no. Don't be locked. Come on. Oh, uh, really? Yes, really. Well, Clarissa got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Um, uh, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? <sighs> yes, quite annoyingly. I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like sort of thing I'm just trying to I'm trying to picture it what sort of thing what do you mean you know like intense I guess is the word I'm trying to find I mean just from what I've heard of him like that one story about the cops just straight buying him a beer just what would a guy like that see in her like at least at the start there must have been something right right you know, Jonas frankly I don't really know and I don't really care so all right, hey, it's old news, I get that. It's just, uh, interesting, I guess, to me. Look, it really wasn't a big deal. That's all. I believe you, I believe you. It's got a padlock. You can't pick this one, can you? No, we need, like, bolt cutters or something. 
or the code. What happened? Are you all right? Jonas, let me in. I'm not in the mood. Testing, testing. Um, okay. I can't... I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but luckily this radio thing's working. Look, whatever. Clarissa's not in here, and it's just a room, so, like, riddle me that, first of all, and then second of all, I can't get out. Just put your back into it. Be a man here, Jonas. We got stuff to do. I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but there's just a really weird lock here. Does anything out there explain what this is? I'm okay. You know, I thought it was dark out there. But let me tell you, when you're trapped in a broom closet, it gets a lot darker. You know what? Hello? Are you... Look, is someone there? Don't let Jonas talk to his mom. It's not good for him. His mom's... dead. I know his mom's dead. What, what is... Okay, what just happened? Cause that... that sucked. Uh, Clarissa ran in there, disappeared into the walls, yeah, and... Yeah, I'm not really one to hate stuff, but I hated all of that. Here's the code for the, uh, for the padlock. 3418. It's on a list of... Huh. They call codes cookies. Is that slang or something? I don't know, but we got the combo, so great. Hey, did I... Did, did you see that? In... in the mirror? The reflection... was weird. Uh, don't think I'm nuts or anything, but my reflection kind of gave me, like, fatherly advice that made absolutely no sense when you were stuck just now. So... Wait, seriously? I'm gonna take a picture, see if the flash will make something happen. It seems all right now. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't anything. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. what you were talking to me on? Yep. Old girl did the trick. Do you think maybe, uh, Clarissa was using this before? You know, to call us and everything? I guess there might be another comm room or something. It was locked, remember? How could she have gotten in? Same way I did. But then I don't really know how she could have gotten out. Radio locks. <laughs> the technology here has always been... It's like primitive and from the future. Yeah, no, it's something. wasn't anything. <sighs> I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen, so let's just carry on.
Oh, I'm gonna hate to go out in that. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now, so since we're stuck anyway, I thought I'd, you know. No. Come on, it'll just take a second. I'll force it out fast. This is... If the knight needed a capper, this is it. Right here. My vagrant new stepbrother. Peeing on a rat. Don't look at me! Be quieter. It's like louder than the rainstorm. I know the uh, acoustics are really carrying it. Sorry. Clarissa! Okay, that was definitely her. Clarissa, come back. We came to help you. Don't... Ugh. Hello? Is this thing... Is this... God, is this... Is this going out or... Wait, I can... Ugh, I can hear myself. That's Ugh, not... Man, maybe God, she didn't does, see does anybody... us. I don't know, but... Whatever, she still has a radio, so we still gotta get to her. Handprints are a macabre touch. Do you know who did that? Please tell me it's like a known thing teenagers here do or something. It's probably like children. They have such little hands. Yeah, little kids just making a mess of things. What was that? You... you heard that, right? Something just fell. Relax. I'm sure a bird landed on a piece of loose masonry or something. Probably. It's not opening. <sighs> Clarissa! Man, when we catch up, I'm gonna tear... It's gonna be limb from limb. It's gonna be like she wasn't wearing seatbelts when I'm finished with her. God! Okay, all right, I know, she's a hoot. We can't leave until she shows us where that radio is. I know it's annoying, but it's our only hope for getting us out of here so far. In the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey kids, want to play a game? Uh. What is it doing? Hangman? Be sharp and listen, mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like, a test? Hey, why are we being tested? What did we do? Here's a simple one to start, so don't hold your breath. What is the name of the school you are standing in? School we're standing in? Isn't this Nine. like a classroom? Eight. I, I thought it was just like a, a four. Seven. Six. Uh, the school for... Armed services? Our friends are finding this tough. Do you think us cruel? Do you think us callous? I don't care, just don't we hurt. don't hurt playmates. Oh, Jesus. What is going on? Ugh. I feel like I'm stuck on a tilt-a-whirl. Just keep the pointer on the button. Question two. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Who Ten. would know that? This isn't World War II. Nobody calls anything anything Eight. anymore. You call codes cookies? There. Now you're cooking. Coded radio transmitters have an important job. 
and you wouldn't want them to be unqualified. Uh, no. I mean, like any job, right? Like anything, right. We are an island race, and through all our times the sea has ruled our breaks. But be wary, young ones. Jonas, are, are you, uh, doing okay? One last round and you've cleared your exam. Pencil's ready. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? Ten. The other ships. Nine. Sail them. Above all Eight. victories, beyond all loss. Seven. In spite of changing times in the changing world. Five. Eighty-five? Correct. Ninety-seven brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. Eighty-five officers, twelve passengers. It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Just another fact among many. Here I am. I didn't need to get that far. Sister, I'm fine. Right now I'm out of the city here. This is a kid. He misfits. Those there's all at my... States submarine Canaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Canaloa was lost today, lost at sea near. Is this? Are you the dead officers? That sunk on the Canaloa? We are the sunken. What? What do you want? For the first time. For the first time. For the first time. Time. Just. Time. What? I... that was... not fun. Are you... feeling... better? I'm feeling... let's start with that. This has been United News, and thank you for listening. This is just unbelievable. Anyone? Can anyone just... That's gotta be Clarissa. Let's get her and get out of here. Or use her radio and get out of here, but... Let's just get out of here. Clarissa's asleep right now. Be still so as not to wake her. Um... Uh huh? Cross your fingers. Uh, Clarissa? Oh, well, look at this. The super twins decided to grace me with their presence. I thought maybe I wasn't good enough for a house call, doctor. So are we... We came here, okay? We showed up and... You know what? It wasn't exactly an easy walk. There were, like, obstacles. 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 Okay, what ninja training ground kept you from showing up when I called, huh? I mean, it's like a three-mile spread. That's like 20 minutes if you jog. 
Oh, I don't know, maybe all the ghosts that are shambling around handing out tests? <laughs> oh my god. Look, stuff has been strange. I'll give you that, but let's not bungee jump into lunacy just yet, okay? Okay, whatever, Clarissa. Just where's the radio? I don't know. I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, want to take a look at this? Yeah, no, this is... This is like a low-frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It won't... I don't think it can beam out. <sighs> really? No, no, no. Isn't there a... Any... Ghost officers who know your problems full and well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross your fingers. Wait, Jonas, something... Something just happened. We got... We were in there, and then... Come on. Let's just get to Clarissa. Clarissa! Is there anything like... Can we cut her down with something? <sighs> Holy crap. What is it? Is something wrong? Or not? We keep doing the same... We've... We've gone through this door like twice now, and it... It keeps... The events keep changing. Are you feeling okay? Cause... I'm not really following. I'm not not so, Jonas. We've like done this. We've gone through this door and seen Clarissa twice now, and we're about to do it a third time. Okay, all right, I'm sorry, I believe that. You believe this, so all right, just keep me posted, I guess, on how that develops. Clarissa? I would have swore she was in here. Better gone than dead. Oh, maybe this was the, the thing, the radio she was using. If we can get it to... I mean, she got it to kind of work, so... Yeah, it it only broadcasts within the within a short space. It's not going to do what we need it to. Really? How do you know? Jonas, we're in a loop. We already just... It's okay. Knock yourself out. <laughs>